Okay, I'm going to take you through the answers to the odd problems here. So on this first one, they both have the same base as 7. So I'm just going to say x minus 8 equals 2x plus 3. And then I can subtract an x over. And I can also subtract 3 from both sides. So we end up getting here x is equal to negative 11. Again, if we sub that in just to check, negative 11 minus 8 would be negative 19. 2 times negative 11 would be negative 22. Plus 3 would be negative 19. Okay, number 3, notice we do not have the same base, but we can make them the same base. So this would be uh, 3 to the second uh, raised to the x. And this would be 3 to the third raised to the x plus 7. Uh, so when we simplify that, uh, we've got 2x is equal to 3x plus 21. And so if I subtract 3x, I get negative x equals 21. So in this case, x is going to equal uh, negative 21. Okay, on number 5, we do have the same base, so we would just simply say the from the 1 to 1 property, 2x minus 8 equals 3x plus 3. You know, subtract 2x from each side, and subtract 3 from each side. And again, on this one, I'm going to get x is equal to negative 11. Okay, number seven, on number seven, I'm going to, I have the same log with the same base, so I can again say that 8x plus 3 is equal to 35. If I subtract 3, that gives me 8x equals 32, and then divide by 8, so x would be equal to 4. Okay, on number nine, on this one, notice I've got a 3 in front. Remember from our rules, we condense it. So this is just becomes log base 9 of y to the third equals log base 9 of 216. So now I can say y to the third equals 216. Basically, I'm taking the cubed root of both sides. Well, the cubed root of 216, y is just simply going to be 6. Okay, for number 11, natural log, again, we're going to condense the left side, so this becomes the natural log of 2x plus 4 all over 4x, and that is equal to the natural log of x plus 2. So when I set this up, I'm going to do 2x plus 4 over 4x is equal to x plus 2, and I'm just going to put that over 1. Then I can just simplify... So when I simplify here, I get 2x plus 4. And then when I multiply here, I get 4x squared uh, plus 8x. Now, if I go ahead then and get everything to the same side, set it all equal to 0, I'm going to move everything over to the right. So I get 4x squared. I'm going to subtract 2x, so I get 6x and then minus 4. And I could uh, go ahead and factor out a 2. That would be 2x squared plus 3x uh, minus 2. And if I try now and factor this, I'm going to get 2x and x and positive 2 over here and a negative 1. So x is going to be negative 1 half, and x is going to be negative 2. So negative 1 half, actually check that, that's going to be positive 1 half, because I'm going to add 1 and divide by 2, and then negative 2.
Now remember, once we get our two answers, we do have to plug them back in to see if they work. If I plug in negative 2, negative 2 plus 2, that gives me 0 here. I can't do the natural log of 0, so this is an extraneous solution. I can put in 1 half, uh, so I only have one solution there, and that would be 1 half. Okay, for number 13, on this one, I'm going to uh, change this to exponential form. So I'm going to say this is 4 to the second power equals 2x plus 6. When I do that, 16 is equal to 2x plus 6. If I subtract 6, I get 10 equals 2x. And when I divide by 2, then I get x to be equal to 5. Okay, for number 15, I'm going to take this exponential form. I'm going to write into log form. So this is log base e of 20 equals x. Remember, keep the base, switch root with the other two. Then it just becomes a calculator problem. When I type it in, I'm going to go ahead and do, um, I can do uh, alpha. Or, you know, I can I actually do this as the natural log of 20. So that makes it a little easier to type in. So natural log of 20 gives me 2.996. Okay, for number 17, again, I'm going to get this into one term. So I'm going to subtract 6 from each side. That's going to give me 5 to the x equals 7. I'm then going to, again, go ahead and put that in log form. So log base 5 of 7 equals x. Again, if I put that into my calculator here, um, I'm going to go alpha of 5 here. I'm going to put in the base of 5 and then uh, 7 and hit enter. So 1.209 is going to be my answer for number 17. Okay, number 19. On this one, I'm going to go ahead again, subtract 4 from both sides. So 8 times 10 to the x is equal to 24. I'm going to divide by 8. So 10 to the x is equal to 3. Um, put it in the log form. So log of 3 equals x. Again, that's Again, base 10, so I can just do my log button here. So log of 3, and then hit enter, 0.477. So x is equal to 0.477. Okay, for the other side or the other practice sheet on the odd ones, uh, again, we want to condense. This is the product property, so we can say the log base 3, 2 times 7, so that's 14 is equal to the log base 3 of x. And the 1 to 1 property, uh, we can now then say that x is equal to 14. Okay, on number 3, we've got the log base 10 of y. Again, we're going to go ahead and move our exponents. So log base 10 of 16 to the 1 fourth plus log base 10 of 49 to the 1 half. You know, we can simplify those. 16 to the 1 fourth is just simply 2. So we've got log base 10 of y equals log base 10 of 2 plus log base 10 of in 49 to the 1 half is just simply 7. Uh, we then can do the product property. Product property says that we multiply again. So log base 10 of y is equal to the log base 10 of 2 times 7, which is 14. So 1 to 1 property, again, tells us that y in this case is equal to 14. Okay, on number 5, again, we're going to do some condensing on the left side. So on the left side, I'm going to get... Uh, log base 2 of x to the 4th plus log base 2 of 5 equals log uh, base 2 of 405. Uh, I'm then going to go ahead and um, 
condense log base 2 of 5x to the 4th equals log base 2 of 405. I can then 1 to 1 property 5x to the 4th equals 405. And then divide by 5. When I divide by 5, I get x to the 4th is equal to 81. And then if I take the 4th root, I get x is going to be equal to 3. Okay, number 7. Again, I'm going to condense the left side. So this is log base 9 of 42 over x equals log base 9 of 6. 1 to 1 property says 42 over x equals 6. Let me just put that over 1. Across multiply 6x equals 42, so x is going to be equal to 7. Okay, the last one on this page, I'm going to, again, condense the left side, log base 4, x plus 4 over x minus 3. That's the quotient property that equals uh, 2. At this point now, then I've got to go ahead and do the uh, exponential form. So I can say this is 4 to the second power is equal to x plus 4 over x minus 3. 4 to the second power we know is 16. x plus 4, x minus 3. Again, I'm going to put that over 1 just to help me simplify. So I can then do 16 times x minus 3 equals x plus 4. If I distribute 16x, 16 times uh, 3 is going to be negative 48, and then equal to x plus 4. If I subtract uh, my x, I get uh, 15x. Go ahead and add 48. So I add 48, that's going to give me 52. And then I'm going to go ahead and divide that by 15. So if I take 52 divided by 15, uh, that's going to give me 3.47 approximately uh, for my x value.